So yeah. I mean, you know, on the real, on the real, I'm not really somebody to tell anybody else how to spend their money or what to do with their cash. But you would think that that people would really try to do the right thing when it comes to their money. But you know, uh, people gonna do what they gonna do. Um, so let's get into it. Why not, right? Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two and this your daily, daily, the daily, the daily, daily. Go get a mism number one K six nine for September second, two thousand and seventeen. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about spendthrifts and cheapskates. Spendthrifts and cheapskates. Now listen, I'm going to need y'all to bear with me if y'all think that I'm. Sounded a little strange tonight. It's because my my nasal passages are all twisted and turned. If y'all watched the show earlier today, y'all see that um, I was sneezing through it, wiping my nose through it, going through it, man. You know what I mean? It's crazy, but we're going to do the best we can, and the best we can is the best that we can do, and I think it's going to be all right. Cheapskates. Who is a cheapskate? Who are the people that we call cheapskates? A lot of times when we call somebody a cheapskate is because they're not buying the kind of goods and products that we want them to buy. You know, like when we deal with somebody that won't spend all of their money the way that we want them to spend it, sometimes we might feel some kind of way about it. It's not that we really have the right to feel some kind of way about it. It's their money. But maybe, maybe because when we have been with them, we have spent our money crazy frivolously the way that we thought it should be done and and we thought that they would just extend the same courtesy so when you see somebody holding on to every dollar and being really really tight there are good things and bad things about that i would say that if you're trying to put something together if you're trying to organize and pull your money together pull your resources together then you would probably want to cheapskate as your treasure treasurer or who or as the person that is handling the financial matters of of the, the the business venture because you know that they're not going to overspend now of course we know that there are several types of cheapskates out there you have cheapskates out there that will that won't spend money on anybody else and then you have cheapskates out there who won't spend money on themselves now the ones who won't spend money on themselves that's one thing but they may have they may have um they may have like a lover or so, or, or a partner or, or organization or some type of some type of cause that they're interested in and they may not skimp when it comes to that. So it's not it's not that cheapskates don't don't spend a lot of money. It's just that they, you know, they may spend their money a little bit slower and they may get more bang for their buck because they're going to make sure that they don't overspend for things. It doesn't mean that they're not going to spend any. They just may spend all of it, but spend very slowly. So, a cheapskate is, is pretty much a derogatory term that people who don't like the spending habits of somebody else call people, you know, they, they use that, that term to tease people. And it is what it is. I mean, I mean, we got to roll with the punches. We got to deal with what we got to deal with. You know what I mean? We got to deal with it, homie. It's all good, though. <laughs> then, then we have um, the spendthrifts. Now, that's a term that you don't hear every day anymore. We used to hear it a lot when we were younger. But um, a spendthrift is somebody who wastes a lot of money. They'll spend down to their very last dime, even if they don't know where their next money is coming from. They will spend all of their money and and uh, and try to justify it, saying, well, it, saying things like, well, at least I got what I wanted or I got a lot. For what I for what I paid for it, or you know, I mean, you only live once, YOLO, or you know, things like that. They will try to justify them wasting all of their money and then coming to you to try to borrow some of your money, and that's where it gets real, real sketchy. That's where it gets real, real sketchy when they not only have spent their money, not only have they spent their money, but now they want to spend your money, and that's where it might get a little ill. Might get a little L, yeah, you know I said. So you know, you gotta kind of watch out for the 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 spendthrift. 
you definitely don't want a spendthrift mining the store. Because if you have a spendthrift mining the store, more than likely they're going to liquidate all of your product. Liquidate all of your merchandise. You know what I'm saying? On some old, well, you know, if I got it once, I could get it again. You ever hear you ever hear somebody say that? Well, if you got it once, you could get it again. You did it once, you could do it again. Well, not all opportunities come the same as they did when you first got them. Like winning the lottery. What are the chances of you winning the Powerball in the first place? And what are the chances of you winning it again? So if you spend all of that money that you won in the Powerball, that's your ass. And the crazy part about it is a lot of people who win the lottery like that do wind up spending and wasting all the money. So you got to be careful, man. You know, you got to be careful. Cheapskates. Cheapskates and spendthrifts. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about the kind of cheapskate that will skimp on things for you or or things for other uh, for others like they may not spend a lot of money on gifts and and uh, parties or or functions or things like that but they might make sure that they get everything that they want because they may be cheapskates but they might also be selfish and i'm not saying that that happens all the time but it happens often enough <laughs> excuse me y'all Oh man! Get the nose! Get the nose! Uh, this is keep it one hundred video. All right. Uh, anyway, maybe this is maybe this is a sign that it's time for us to get up out of here. Listen, cheap skates and spendthrifts. You know, watch out for both. Because you need a little balance. <laughs> when it comes to being fiscally responsible, financially responsible, whatever you want to call it, you want to make sure that you're dealing with somebody who is fiscally responsible. Sorry about this cold, man. It's still killing me, man. For real. Listen. Mm. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, listen, when you're talking about cheapskates, when you're talking about spendthrifts, when you're talking about anybody who is handling the money, just make sure that if you're talking about yourself, self-discipline is going to have to come into, the, into play somewhere along the line. Self-control is going to have to come into play somewhere along the line. You may say that a cheapskate has a lot more self-control than a spendthrift has. But they may save so much that they never even get anything done. You have some cheapskates that will save all of their money, won't pay all of their bills, and wind up getting their utilities cut off. I know people who have done it. So you got to watch out for that kind of stuff, you know? The Daily go get a show is every single day, 6, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 319-527-6199. 319-527-6199 is the call-in number. You can call in. I mean, call in, you know, you know kick it with me. All right? And I will holler at y'all later. Peace. Ah. Uh.